first, we bring the challenger into the ring. Representing Kansas City, Missouri, here is Malik Wong Punch Calhoun. <laughs> Malik Calhoun making his way down as the contender. Malik Calhoun, man, he's coming to upset this crowd tonight. A, a, a dominant crowd here for uh, John Tua and Puerto Rican native, man. Uh, he's coming to spoil everything. Yeah, no doubt about it. We're going to play spoiler, go home a champion. We know John Torres, there will be an eruption in this arena when Torres comes out. But right now, Calhoun is staying focused, looking calm, cool, relaxed, ready to become a champion. Malik Calhoun, the number one contender, as we await the champion. Official introduction here at our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pow at the Bay, presented by a Pete Grant Promotions and Association with Lopez Boxing. Proudly brings you our special main event championship attraction of the evening. And it's live on a Pete Grant Promotions Facebook page, powered by Peer Like Media. Six rounds scheduled for the APO Regional Super Middleweight yeah. Championship. Sponsored by Terry Queen, right, the North American Boxing Federation, Pistazzi Musica, Robert Longoria Painting Contractor, Punch Out Management, the American Boxing Organization. Hey, and I just told y'all fuckers, you gotta put your shit on my, my damn shoulder, and Bobby uh, Kim. This part is essentially not the truth of your name. And regulation for combative sports. The chair, Rick Figueroa, also sanctioned by the American Boxing Organization, the President, Alicio Castaneda. The three judges for this contest at ringside are Joe Rodriguez, Anthony Moss, and Randy Masso, and are referee in charge of the action in this championship contest. Alex Leon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, two diamonds, one wing tonight, who will shine the brightest. Standing between the Raven Bunner Knight 
wearing black with red and white sort of officially weighted 167.4 pounds. His record, five pounds, three victories, two wins by way of knockout, and two defeats. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, introducing to you, Malik Long Punch Calhoun! And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, stands the champion. Sandy Wood trainer, legendary trainer, Juan Lopez of the Lopez Boxing Club. Tonight he wears black with white and pink, the officially weighted at 168 pounds. Tonight his champion steps into the ring perfect with a record of nine pounds, nine victories, six wins by way of knockout, and no defeats. Introducing to you, the reigning, defending, Undefeated Hemio Regional Super Mario Champion El Orgullo de Oro Cobis Puerto Rico and representing Brian Town, Texas, Kenny Pico, Sean Alejandro Leon, our main event official in the ring for this one. As we get ready for a six round main event, Malik Khalil, the champion, John Torres. We are underway here, folks. Right away, Torres looking to be the aggressor. Lee Calhoun looking real fast out there right now. Using the jab to the body. Definitely the longer fighter of the two. Absolutely. Malik with some good snap in that jab as well. And Torres is a very fundamentally sound fighter. Seen him fight on a number of occasions, called him a number of his fights. Good one two there. From Malik. Malik using the ring, using his feet. Good jab there from Torres. Oh, a good jab from Torres. Another jab. It's going to make Malik question himself if he starts throwing trading jabs, but his, his head's the one moving backwards. Tor is just so powerful. So patient as well, man. He's real patient. He's walking the guy down. See those little movements. Get into the body there is Torres. Malik tries to return the favor. Both fighters, man, showing a twitchy, being real cautious before they let their shots go. Absolutely. Torres goes to the body. Series of jabs by Torres. Double jab from Torres. Jab there from Torres. Oh, 
Both fighters staying right at the end of each other's range. Good opening round, good feeling out process. Both men trying to find their advantage. I believe Torres takes round one. Definitely Torres. Just is the better of the jabs that round and Torres landed the cleaner, stronger jab. Absolutely. Landing more consistently as well, I believe. Malik definitely uh, showing a lot of speed that round too. I believe this is the, uh, the fastest fighter that Torres has faced thus far. Something to look out for. If he can get off the counter punch, get to the punch before Torres. As we get ready to start round number two of our main event. By the way, Malik came out with a feint and ate a jab for it. Torres did not bite. Malik's jabs are more flicking jabs. Uh, and Torres, is, he has some power behind his jabs. Absolutely. You can hear him when he swings that hoof. He lets exert, he exerts himself on Definitely. those jabs, putting some oomph behind him. Right hand hits glove. The trade right there. You can just see Torres with just too much power as he goes to the body there. He now has Malik against the ropes. That jab again. Good left hand there from Torres. Follows it up with a series of jabs. Torres using a straight shot as well, man. Calhoun right away moving his head as soon as his corner calls for it. You cannot be a stationary target against John Torres. Good movement there from Calhoun. Lands his jab and then gets out. Calhoun able to angle out. Ate a shot on the exit for his trouble. Calhoun now feeling comfortable in this round, it seems. Calhoun tried that left and right. Good job by Calhoun. Absolutely finding a bit more of his rhythm here in the second round. John Torres with the body work on the ropes right there. That's Torres trying to be the bully. Good left hand there. Good way for John Torres to take it on the glove. Good solid defense. Wow. Good jab again from Torres. That jab is his bread and butter. Nothing jab, I tell you. Absolutely. It just gets to the target quicker and stronger. Good right hook, good lead hook, and then he goes to the body. A better round for Calhoun, but I think Torres might have stole it in the end that time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he definitely needs those rounds. Uh, it's only a six-round fight, man, so whoever takes it on early could possibly win the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very close. Very close round, but I do believe that John Torres might have stolen it away there with the power jab and the harder hits at the, the end. Ultimately, it'll be how the judges see it. We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of diversity in these these judges' scorecards tonight. Especially on the last fight, man. They didn't give uh, Luis Lopez no rounds. Yeah, one person gave him no rounds. One person called it a draw. Yeah, and that a lot was of a confusion. pretty close fight, man. Yeah, a lot of confusion. So... Obviously, it's all subjective, but 
We're supposed to be looking for the same thing, so who knows? Regardless, we've got a third round coming up. Calhoun getting in there, trying to win these exchanges. Trying to be the aggressor, Torres walks him down. Torres lands a good upper, or excuse me, uh, Calhoun lands a good uppercut. Nice little short uppercut up the middle. Torres head on the line, he wasn't breaking his head off that line, so he noticed that. Oof, good Luke shot just there. Throwing those shots, man. He's just throwing those shots over the top. Trying to land it clean. Torres once again back to being the aggressor, trying to walk down. Malik has had the most success when he's been the aggressor, able to walk down the fight. Good body shot. Good left nice hand there. Another left. Good jab from Torres. Calhoun trying to time that left hook. That right hook, I mean. Torres doing a good job feigning, throwing off that timing. John Torres with a nice, solid defense. He's able to walk him down and still be safe. Absolutely. I like the way Malik is trying to throw the uppercut through those arms. Ooh. Torres landing two hard shots. Torres being the bully, walking down the aggressor now. Malik seems calm, still trying to throw down the pipe. Ooh. Good short hook from Torres. Good body, Good body shot, shot there. Hit that body shot. Yeah, that was a nice body shot right there, right on the button. Malik trying to fight in this phone booth. Good jab there from Torres. Nice job for Torres again, man. Absolutely. It's his best weapon, and he uses it to set up his other punches. Malik with a good shot there off the jab. Calhoun definitely trying to set up for that, that right hook. Absolutely. Good jab there. Good round number three there for Torres. Definitely another Torres round. He's just being the aggressor. Absolutely. We saw early on Malik was able to take some advantage and become the aggressor, but I do believe more of the round swayed in the later half towards Torres. Absolutely. My goodness. The main event is heating up, folks. It's been back and forth. Shots connecting. A lot of good defense from both sides as well, but so far it has been Torres on top. It's been the story of his career with the fundamentals, the good defense, the high guard, and a strong, effective jab. All the teaching of Lopez at Lopez Boxing Gym, Baytown, Texas. That's all his teaching. Here we go. Round number four of a six round fight over halfway through, right away. Malik looking again for the uppercut. Trying to crack this shell. Good body shot there. The crowd comes to life for Hercules, John Torres. Good left hand, Malik returns with a right. Hard right hand blocked. They're right on the gloves. Beautiful defense by Torres. Yeah, and Torres at high guard, that shell defense is very tough to break.
Good left hand from Malik, but Torres lands about three jabs on the exit. Malik having success, Torres just having more. Torres a little square. Denver letting those straight shots down the pipe. Absolutely. Malik just found a, about three or four really good shots at range. Yeah, that was some, that was some clean shots. Woof. Both men now playing at range. The jab again from Torres. Malik lands a shot, Torres lands a body shot. Hard shot on the glove there. Malik put a lot into that shot and it just glanced off. Good right hand there from Torres. Good left hand there. Torres tries to go low to go high. Calhoun with good defense. Calhoun firing back. Torres lands the jab. This is an interesting fight. Absolutely. Oh, good uppercut there from Torres. My goodness. We already passed halfway through. Absolutely coming into the fifth round of a six-round fight. It has been a good one. A great night of fights all around, and the main event has lived up to the hype as well. Back and forth, high level action. We personally, I think on our scorecards, have Torres up. Without a doubt. Um, it depends how the judges look at it, if they like the boxer or if they like the aggressor. Absolutely, Malik Khalil, Calhoun. I've got about three names for him on my, on my sheet here. Yeah. <laughs> but Malik has been in the fight as well. He has not faded away at all. If anything, he has picked up the pace as the rounds have gone on. We'll see if that trend continues going into round number five. You have to beat the champion to become the champion. So we'll see what he does here. And we, here comes that aggression. Staying in the pocket, looking to trade. We can see now it's getting getting chippy. A lot of shoving, elbows going under the jawline to open up shots. Got to believe that's going to favor Torres in the long run. He seems like the stronger of the two. Definitely. Torres the more compact with his defense in the two as well. A trade of jabs, and I actually think Torres has busted his nose here. Good body shot there. Good left hand there from Torres. Nice, nice left hand over the top for Torres. And Malik has bloodied the nose of the champion. Definitely a, a blood and guts warrior is John Torres. You know? Shows a lot of heart behind the skill. Good head movement there from Malik. Operating at range, back to the ropes. Another great job by Torres. Oh, good right hand, good uppercut from Torres. 
And the left from Torres. The jab again from Malik. Malik Body shot. Trying to work that jab. Trading jabs, Torres gets the better of it. Malik stays in the fight. Pitter patter rights and left from Calhoun. Torres goes to the body. Now bullying Calhoun back into the corner. Malik circles out, looking for his opening. Good one, two there from Torres. Or excuse me, from Calhoun. Calhoun found some success with the one, two down the pipe. Even though uh, John Torres' guard is up, it's showing the damage a little bit. Ooh, getting a little chippy there at the end. Yeah. Both fighters wanted to get their last shot in. Absolutely. After the bell. Malik got one after the bell. Torres said, well, I'll get it back then. It's the rule of aggression, folks. It's definitely an intense fight. The last round coming up. Man, I, I, I still have to give it to Torres right now. I feel like he's up. But uh, Malik Calhoun has definitely had his moments in the fight. Absolutely. He has only improved as the fight has gone on. And Torres has maintained as good as he was at the beginning. And it's just led to an exciting fifth round and what should hopefully be an even more exciting sixth round. And I got to know what the judges, or excuse me, what the cornermen are saying here. I got to believe the corner of Torres saying, just keep doing what you're doing, keep your pace. The corner of Malik Khalil saying, hey, man, we got to go win this thing. Hopefully the judges don't judge the fight off the looks on the fighters' faces and judge it off the boxing that's being done because there's a lot of good things being done on both ends. The crowd comes to life for Hercules. Good left hand over the top from Malik. Catches a lot of glove, though. Torres again with the jab. Malik returns the favor. And Malik seems content. There's the aggression. I was going to say stay on the outside. In my opinion, he needs to be a bit more aggressive to steal this fight. Definitely. Torres definitely been pushing him back the whole time. I don't know if it's a choice he's moving back on the back foot, but Torres been taking advantage. Nice right here by Torres. Good short left by Malik. Malik Calhoun's been trying that little short uppercut on the inside. He just hasn't landed yet. Body shot there for Malik. John Torres. Torres with the straight left hand. Down the pipe, beautiful shot. Catching that shot on the gloves right there is Torres. Ooh, bit of a low shot there. Good left hand there from Malik. Torres returns the favor again. Malik staying in the fight every bit of the way as we have 45 seconds left in this main event. Body shot again. Ooh. Trading hooks. Excuse me, trading jabs. 1-1-2 one, one, from Malik. Malik Cajos, he's throwing these shots. He looks devastating, but Torres is catching him on the gloves. Referee says you have got to keep that up. Oh, good one, too, there. The crowd comes to life for Hercules in the final 12 seconds, final 10 seconds. 
as they swing again. Neither man backing down. Three seconds left. Beautiful fight, beautiful finish. Great back and forth contest here in our main event. John Torres, Malik Khalil, Calhoun. He got three names. Yeah, man. I don't know which one's right. I've got the official scorecard, and then he's got the name on the back of his trunks. So either way, man, great fight. Fantastic back and forth fight to close out the evening. We await the judge's decision. I think we've got it for Torres, but regardless, there's no doubt. Yeah, man, it's a definitely a good fight. It all depends on the way you want to judge it. I definitely give it to Torres. He's the aggressor. Work behind Let's the throw jab. it to the instant replay. Right now to see some of the highlights of that main event. As we see here, the introduction. Early on, it was the jab. Torres so strong, landing that jab right on the end of those punches, overwhelming in the early rounds, landing the body shots, landing that hard jab again. But when Mal Malik was able to fire back, that's when we happened to see the fight swing back and forth. The later rounds, the small adjustments, trade of jabs there. Torres trying to with the straight left hand after the trade of the jab. As you see there, lots of motion, lots of swinging. The closing seconds of the fight, both men swinging for the fences. Man. Let's go up for the official decision in our main event. in a draw. 